Burger, sponsored by Baugh Auto Body. Welcome back, everybody. If you step outside and you're cold today, I want you to take a look at what people in the Midwest are dealing with. I mean blood-chilling wind and a ton of snow. This winter storm pounding most parts of Nebraska, Missouri, and Kansas today. And Kansas could see up to 12 inches of snow before this whole thing rolls out. So bad there that the governor is advising people to stay home until this windy, windy winter weather passes. And Carrie, it's always interesting to see what these systems are going to do, and this one is heading our way. Yeah, exactly, and it's going to bring some of its winter weather impacts to the Commonwealth, but if you look outside right now, you'd think, eh, well, it's beautiful. Great, but it's still chilly for us right now with that north breeze. However, that's actually one of the keys. A north northerly wind for us is going to reinforce a cold air mass as we move on. We'll check out how we're doing right now with our temperatures. Winds right now are generally from the north or northwest, which is reinforcing colder air into central Virginia. High pressures up to our north. That's going to continue and keep a colder, shallow air mass in place into central Virginia. But let me go ahead and show you where this big storm system is right now. That low is really intensifying as expected when it moved out of the southwestern parts of the U.S. yesterday into the south central U.S. early this morning and caused just an explosion of that snow right over Kansas and into Kansas City where you can see there's still under winter storm warning and also still getting snow there. This is a live view not as heavy as what it was even just an hour ago, but you can see how windy it is there as that snow is coming down. And let me show you the breadth of this system, how many states are impacted by it. You can see stretching all the way from the Rockies to the Appalachians. So that's a pretty big wingspan for this system's impacts, and it does include Virginia. Into the light blue here, that's a winter weather advisory for tomorrow morning for that mix of freezing rain and sleet. But I also think, even though in central Virginia we're not under any sort of advisories or watches, that we will also have a pretty decent shot at picking up some of these winter weather impacts. So here's what I expect. Freezing rain and sleet will occur in the western half of Virginia tomorrow morning, and that will be right on the edge here for us here in the metro. So that means that we could see icing impacts here in the Richmond metro area during your Friday morning commute and as maybe the kids are trying to get off to school tomorrow morning. So just tuck that away in the back of your head. Our best rain chances, just talking about rain, are going to be Friday evening and into Saturday. But let's break this down by precipitation type and threat. Now, the greatest icing threat, sure, it is going to be out into the higher terrain where icing is expected to occur, sure. But in this pink area, this is where we're going to see freezing rain and sleet, especially during the first half of Friday. It may be very light, but it's still there. If you're in the green, you're getting rain. It's a cold rain, but it is rain. So the storm system, at least the center of the big glow, is going to track up toward the Great Lakes region and carry the snow with it. But as we zoom in here for us, by tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., we'll be completely overcast. We'll have had that wind continuing from the north, reinforcing a shallow, cold air mass. And then here comes the moisture. And it's going to take a little while to moisten down from the cloud base to the ground. But as it does so, it will fall precipitation in the form of sleet and temperatures while they stay right at or below the freezing mark in the form of freezing rain. So that's what this pink is showing you here where you're seeing some of that fall in the form of sleet and freezing rain. Here we are at 6 o'clock getting a cold rain in Richmond, but I still think that there'll be sleet pellets mixed in as you go west of I-95, even into late on Friday night. As of right now, it looks like most of the precipitation is going to be wrapping up as we go into the first half of Saturday. So by Saturday evening, if you have Saturday evening plans, I think you'll be dry. And one key to point out to you here is our Saturday morning temperature. It's above freezing. So our primary concern for icing will be in Richmond on Friday morning. Rob?